All right, what's up you guys? Good morning, welcome back to another episode of Making Magic Fishing. As you can see, I've got a couple poles, tackle box, early morning sunrise, a uh, rock wall in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see that. Of course not on the GoPro, but we got the rock wall in, di in the distance. We got breakers every once in a while that are hitting it so hard and splashing over. So there's some size out there today. I'm super excited. This is a different kind of video. I've never, I don't think I've ever been on the Patriot. It's called the Patriot, our local uh, sport fishing boat. It's, you know, super popular and well known in this area. I'm going on on it for obviously a crab pot rockfish combo type deal. First one ever. Um, it's literally like my probably third or fourth time being on a charter boat. My dad, uh, you know, gave me an earful knowing, uh, knowing that I spent money to go on a boat and fish when we have one. but because it's so rough right now at this time of year and it's just a little John boat, I'm not gonna go three miles out. And I'm, I'm kind of a sore loser. I'm not gonna go out and fish and waste my day off and not catch fish either. So, I mean, I will eventually down the line, but I'm too eager to get good content and, and to keep fish catches coming out on my videos. I'm too eager to do that. So this is what you get. I'm not gonna do this very many times. I might do this one more time uh, before the year's over. The rock cod season ends on the 31st of this month. And as you can see, uh, first time ever, I got on a pretty good rock cod kick. So uh, let's come along with me. I'm talking too much. Let's go meet the fellow crew members and see that everyone's, I don't know, cool with me doing this YouTube thing in my own little bubble on the boat because I don't want to be in anybody's business too much. But um, come along with me. Let's see if we can make some magic happen on the charter on a charter boat called the Patriot, Apple Beach, California. Puh. We get everybody signed in. Get the gang talk and the number and everything. Get the dial on that. So if you have any questions out there, call the junior speed and uh, or Ryan is coming to sign you around and we'll get back to right before you start your boat. So uh, everybody on the back deck, you guys, back deck with uh, Eric. They're gonna give the rundown, so I'm gonna go listen to it. Talk to you guys in a minute. All right, what's up, you guys? So I don't know if you guys can see the rock wall, but there's waves breaking, and I'm sure it's like not any big deal because it's not that huge out here today. But there is some swell. Um, yeah, come along with us. Let's see if we can, we're gonna go check the pots right now. And then we're gonna, I guess that's gonna take like an hour, he said, and then it's gonna be like another half hour to go fish. All right, talk to you guys in a little bit. sick you guys pretty freaking cool like super early in the morning and uh, the water's doing this that's pretty badass I gotta tell you Sorry, I just wanted to see 
Alright, first. Alright, number three. Crab Hot three. like another spider crab all right fourth crab pot I don't know how many crab pots there are I haven't asked yet but we're on the fourth and still only one rock crab guy not even the dungeness we're looking for the dungeness Looks like, looks like a spider crab and a rock crab. Maybe a small, it might be big enough, might be a small. All right, you guys, pot number five. Oh, a shit ton of spider crab. Oh man. That's cool. There's one rock right there. There's a rock shot guy. Can you keep those ones? The spider crab? But only certain ones or what? Whoa, a dead bird or what? How did a dead bird get in there? I don't know. Dude, how did a bird get in there? Can I see that? Alright, what's up you guys? So we steamed out probably a good 10 minutes. I don't know, give or take 10 minutes of solid steaming out to deeper water. This is crab pot number six. Let's see if we got anything. Look at it, it's struggling a little bit. It might be kind of heavy. It might have some crabs. Oh, first sign of crab. Badass. Three, it looks like three. So they like the deeper water, I'm thinking, because we just steam like straight out. I'm going to try and get a quick uh, shot of them as soon as they get them, pull them out and put them in here. Heck yeah. Pot number six, seven. I think it's seven. And we got, it looks like we got three more Dungeness crab. Let's check them out. They look like keepers to me, but we'll have to measure them and see. Pretty cool, cool stuff. We're actually catching some crab. What's up you guys, pot number eight. As you can see, it's pretty rocky and rolly out here today, but this boat, um, you know, takes it on pretty good. Looks like we got some more. Two more, it looks like. All right, pot number eight, I think. Seven or eight. Two more, this size, guys. All right, 
right, you guys, so this is pot number nine. And I was noticing it's pretty uh, cool how he gets it. So we get we start at this buoy over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And he gets the gets like like grabs it, pulls it, um, puts it on on the little like cooler, and then he does like a loop so it doesn't get tangled. I think I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Is he, he does like a little loop, and because this he, this is where he wants to like keep keep the pot. So it's pretty cool. And let's see what it what it has. One crab. And it might not be a keeper. No, I think it's a keeper. Anyways. Might not be. Alright, talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, what's up you guys? So this is crab pot number 12, I believe. Uh, I didn't film number 11. It had one pretty big freaking rock cod but I mean rock crab it had one pretty big rock crab but I didn't film it this one looks like it's got a couple looks like there's two three it looks like there's about three in this one so we're pretty close to the point where everyone's gonna get a crab at least at least one crab so that's pretty cool. There'll be a hopefully there'll be a little crab catch and cook video. Stay tuned and stuff. I guess there's a white claw in there. Oh yeah. Was there only one keeper guy? They threw the other ones back then. All right, so there's only one in that pot. I don't know how many more crab pots we have, but. That might have been the last one. All right, you guys. So it looks like we got three more potential keepers. One big rock. But look at this. This one has like, I think it's eggs. A shit ton of eggs. This has a crap ton of eggs. That is insane. I've never seen this many. Well, I've never seen anything like this. That is insane. And they're getting hit by the water. Oh, and it's got like one claw. Oh, man. Dude, that is a huge breeder. I don't even know if the lighting is good on that. Yeah, yeah. freaking rough out here as you can see yeah stay tuned all right what's up you guys We're back uh checking a couple last crab pots it's starting to look like the dead or, or deadliest catch out here because it's getting pretty rough but uh yeah, hopefully we came to some deeper water, I think. We we're shooting out for a little while now. Just going deeper and uh, hopefully that prevails. All right, this one's taking a minute to come up. It's pretty deep. Everybody wants to see. Everybody's excited. What's up you guys welcome back we are doing our first drop so i'm pretty juiced um i think i'm on the bottom now i got my one pounder i got my heavier rod looking to get a bite real quick let's make some magic happen oh. hell yeah Grant, can you bring the wind with you yeah wow. i heard it was, made the fishing better <laughs> is that not true all right so i'm on the bottom just chilling. Let's get something good. Come on, baby. Got a little bite. 
Got a little nibble. Might have been. Come on, lean cod. Come on, lucky lean cod. Oh, yeah. I got hit by something. I think I got him on here. I think I might got I might have one. Nope, he's not there. I'll go ahead and leave it down there for a minute. Hopefully I can get something big, baby. Alright. I'm gonna give this another second and I'm gonna reel it in. I don't know if I have one or not. It, it felt like I got hit, but you're good. All right, I don't know if I have one or not, but it feels like I might have something small on here. I don't know, we'll see right now. Wow, big in. All right, so I'm gonna get baited up, try, try and get back down there. What's up, you guys? Uh, just got down to the bottom. Second drop. Felt like I might have just got a little bite. Yeah, I caught one. It was really, really small. Hoping to get get one something here. All right, what's up, you guys? So, feels like I got something. I don't know how big it is, but there's definitely a little something on here. I kind of wanted to leave it down there, but I do have one, so I got to bring it up. This one pound weight, man, it throws you off. Shit's going off. This is I've heard saw, saw pictures. I heard stories. It's mine. bro um sure if you want to i would love them uh number one god nice fish yeah i'm sorry about that about getting caught with you Here, should, you want you want your spot back? All right, dropping down. Um, I guess we're drifting over a bunch of good spots right here. A bunch of little rock piles or what? Whole reef we got, he says. So um, yeah, we're in the juice right now. See if we can make something happen. What a, what a bait were you using? Got a jig? Okay. That guy just went after it, huh? He's freaking like that one. Potential reef. This is a good reef. Look at this thing. Head shakes. Head shakes. I 
I gotta pay attention how I'm reeling in because this reel is like skipping on me or something. It's being really weird, so we'll see what happens. See if I, if I got something big or if it's just like a little guy that's psyching me out because I haven't caught a fish all day. A fish a little copper guy decent size all right so this is the link caught I wonder how big it is you mind if I weigh it real quick oh yeah six pounds, seven pounds. six pounds seven pounds um this is the other little guy and a little gopher and this link caught uh, and uh actually do you want to be on camera is um, so what, what was your name? Ryan. Ryan. So Ryan caught this link and he's uh, letting me have him. So yes, huge shout out to Ryan. Super cool. All right, you guys. So we found the crabs. I got two in my bag. There's got, we got these spider crabs that are like crawling all over the floor. Mind if I show your crabs? Oh, that's fine. This guy's got, I think he came with like four or five people, so he, he's taking home like a bunch of them for sure. Uh, everybody got two crabs, pretty cool day. Check this guy out, he's like crawling all around. What's up you guys out here graveyard shift going over the edit of today's trip huge shout out to the patriot and the guys doing their job today the uh the conditions were pretty freaking rough this fishing it just it sucked uh, it's super cool to get a couple crabs and a lean cod Ryan, that was cool stuff, man. Super appreciate it. Made the day, because without that ling cod, I would have had two other little fish and two crab, and that wouldn't have even been, been enough for dinner. Stick around for part number two. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a cook, probably fry up those fish, make a little crab pot boil with the fam. Stick around for that. Love you guys, appreciate all the support. Thank you so much, until next time. Or actually, I am gonna be going on another charter. I booked another one. Um, not gonna be doing this ever again. I spent pretty much 200 bucks on charters this week, which I do work two jobs, so uh, it was just pretty much one, one little check from my other job is what I spent. So it sounds like a lot, but at the same time, it's just one check and, uh, from my other job, the small, smaller check. So it's pretty much like I spent that on fishing, which hopefully I can get some more out of it, out of fishing this next trip. Hopefully the conditions, or I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get on some more fish. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Until next time, go out there, make some magic happen.